Today is a huge day. I couldn't waste a minute of it, so that's why the video is starting here in the shower. I'm beginning a quest to help you make more money with your blog by finally answering the question once and for all, which ad network actually pays the most money? Um, Ricky, can we film this somewhere else? It's, it's getting a little uncomfortable for me. Oh, really? Sorry, man. Okay, so here's the thing. It's not as easy as simply switching a site from one ad network to another and saying that, oh, the other pays more. We've done this. We've switched a site from Azoic to Mediavine. We've switched sites from Mediavine to AdThrive and from AdThrive back to Mediavine. We've kind of done about every switch we can possibly do in our library of sites. And it's just a small sample and the results aren't at all definitive. And when we look out at just the entire community of people that we're involved with, both in Project 24, uh, with you here on YouTube, and every community we're involved in, the results we hear anecdotally just differ from person to person. And so we need something a little bit more, which is why I'm turning to my trusty computer. We are gonna do our own survey, our own study, and find out what's happened across as many sites as we can get so that we can answer the question for you. I've gotta know. I've gotta know which ad network is best. All right, now it's been seven days. We got well over a hundred people respond and now I've got to show you the results of this. And for this, we are going to do a PowerPoint. PowerPoint, PowerPoint, PowerPoint. Um, Ricky, you do know that show's been over for over a decade now, right? All right though, if Nate will stop interrupting me, I'm gonna actually dive into these numbers here. Look, we got the survey back, well over a hundred people responded and the numbers seem to speak for themselves, right? We have the minimum RPM on AdSense, a penny per thousand page. Are you kidding me? Ezoic, 61 cents. Now, minimum, obviously, that's like the very worst site. But let's look at the mean and the median, right? AdSense, somewhere in this 10 to $13 range. Ezoic, right about 14. But look at Mediavine and AdThrive. That seems to definitively show that Mediavine pays the most. And AdThrive is pretty close. So I thought the question was answered yeah. at this point in your quest. It looked really definitive. Except it wasn't at all. And the reason is that we realized what the discrepancy was between Ezoic and AdThrive and Mediavine. AdThrive and Mediavine are cherry picking which websites they want uh, on their platform because they have a hands-on approach um, and to justify the time they're spending in hand doing some of these ads and the setup for these websites, they only want the big guys. They don't want yep. any of the small sites that they aren't gonna earn enough from. And so they have strict requirements, 30,000, 100,000 page views, and it's gotta be at least 50% US traffic. Because of that, where Ezoic is taking a lot of new publishers, a lot of publishers that have content from uh, primarily many other countries, and so what it, what it would suggest is that Ezoic isn't earning as much, but actually if you take the same type of site on Ezoic that would, uh, that would be accepted to AdThrive or Mediavine, the numbers are gonna change a lot. I've got a great example that just illustrated this perfectly. Somebody in the survey wrote this comment. That he says, my RPM is very low because 72% of my traffic is from India and only 3% from the USA. This is somebody with over a million page views a month. Definitely a site that could earn really great money, but they can't get on Mediavine or AdThrive. And so even though they're earning less than a $1 RPM, Ezoic is giving them ads and they are able to earn a living from this site, even though most of the traffic is from outside the US. So we sent out a second survey of only those websites that had at least 30,000 page views and that had uh, US, UK, Canada traffic. And the 30,000 pages is generous because even Mediavine now is requiring 50,000 sessions. It's hard for early content So now creators. let's look at the survey data with it more normalized, more of an apples to apples comparison between them. Look at the mean, the second from the bottom and the median at the bottom. We don't really care what the men's and maxes are. Right. Look at between Ezoic, Mediavine and AdThrive. I mean, 
So it's literally a statistical tie. I, there's no yeah. statistically significant difference between those given the number of respondents we had, which was even large. And so we say, now we actually do have an apples to apples number to compare them. And you aren't statistically gonna make any more difference with one or the other. Now, your individual site, yeah, you may make more money right. on one or on the other. It may be better or worse with your site. But broad terms, looking at big data with a lot of websites, there's no difference. There's no one network where you say, well, once I get to this level of traffic, I should definitively switch because this nope. network pays more. You might earn less when you make that switch with one exception, the exception being with the Zoic. Is Zoic has, they, they want to do this study. They want to be able to show that they can pay more. They're really confident that they can. And so if you are willing to switch from one of these ad networks and you want to try out a Zoic, They've guaranteed your revenue, um, even accounting for seasonality. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you were going into the fourth quarter and it was going to go up, they'll look at seasonality across your niche and they'll even boost your revenue and guarantee that they'll earn you at least that much. So if you do want to learn more about just Ezoic and their methodology, they're super confident they can outperform the others. Um, we, made, we got a little video from them. Um, they produced it for us. Uh, I appreciate them doing that, showing their methodology and why they think it's better and how the, they can do that for you. So, so which ad network do you actually pick and yeah. which do we recommend? We've had multiple sites on each of these networks. We have also spoken with higher ups at all three of the yep. companies, multiple people. We have got quite a lot of experience in knowing all of them. They all have benefits and drawbacks. Yes. Um, I loved AdThrive, uh, the roll out the carpet kind of experience. Their customer service is crazy good. Um, Mediavine, very similar. They're very good at customer service. They have great education mm -hmm. and getting going on the platform is really good on Mediavine. They have a great startup experience. Ezoic, the thing that, they're, uh, the thing that sticks out most to me is they have your back even before you make it. Right. Right. Um, I, I love that they will work with newer creators um, and, you know, getting them the first paycheck and getting me excited about it is huge. And I love that in terms of like mission, like I, I want to support them because they do that. Mediavine and AdThrive, they do not care about you until you meet the minimums. And and that hurts our industry. It really does. I mean, imagine you're a content creator and you're building and building for a couple of years maybe mm -hmm. to get to 50,000 sessions you only to find out that you get that first paycheck and you realize, shoot, there's something about my content. My RPMs are low. Now I got to go figure out why they're low mm -hmm. and I got to fix up my site. With the Zoic, you're starting to learn that early on and you're getting those first paychecks to help you know that what you're doing actually has a return on investment. Okay, sorry to cut in here just like this, but I have got to tell you about the Ultimate Content Warrior Challenge before I forget. Um, we are in the month of January starting just this awesome challenge to find the world's ultimate content warrior. So whether you're a YouTube creator or a blogger, we want you to participate in the Ultimate Content Warrior Challenge. It's totally free to enter. You can learn more about it at incomeschool.com slash UCW. Like I said, it's totally free to enter. Winner's going to get a $5,000 prize and a couple of other cool things. Go check it out and then come back and watch the rest of this video because the things we learned are pretty sweet. So I love things about all of the, all of the companies, but some of you have watched this and you said, I'm not earning $24 <laughs> RPM. Like, where is this average? I'm on one of these networks and I'm way lower. So let's point you in the right direction for increasing your RPMs. Most important thing is get traffic in US, UK, Canada. I mean, we just see the numbers just bear it out. Generally, those countries are doing better. Australia, Germany, there's some others that can do really well, but those three really stand out. So that's a big one if you're not doing well. You don't necessarily earn more by having a big site and a ton of page views, but having enough traffic that you can test some things out could uh, really impact things. The other thing and the big one I would say, if you wanna do well with ads is think about who is buying ads, especially on Google, who's buying Google ads, and then make content that would attract that audience. Right. Lawyers are buying ads. Medical companies are buying, are buying ads. Local construction companies and many local companies, right? So why did buying our RV ads. site do well? Because there are a dozen RV, uh, RV companies that wanna sell you a $100,000 RV. Um, interesting note, I was talking to Nathan earlier who's running our creator studio, and he was looking at two sites that we recently bought. One um, that, was, that had fewer page views than the other, but was earning more than twice as much. 
twice as much revenue, not twice as much RPM. So more than double the RPM. And he said, why? Can you help me understand why this site would be earning more? And the site that was earning more is a site about garbage disposals. Who would have thought that would do so well? But think about it. Who buys a garbage disposal? A homeowner buys a garbage disposal. And how many brands want to target an audience of people that are most likely to be homeowners versus you know renters and, and everybody else? And so if you have content that can help narrow down the demographic of who is on your website and it's a demographic that's likely to buy stuff from ads that has more disposable income, you're going to earn much higher RPMs. Project 24 is the place where we're gonna teach you this whole system, where we're gonna help you to get the traffic. Um, if you have an existing site, great. We got a ton of courses in, in there for you. If you're brand new, great too. We can walk you through the setup process and get you up there. But it's about getting that traffic and then learning to monetize from it. There's so much content in there, uh, in the forum and the podcast that we're constantly talking about how to increase the amount of money earning from your site. So check it out, incomeschool.com slash project 24.